Say good morning, happy good Friday. Here is a morning. good morning, happy Friday. Today I'm going to do a quick arm workout with you because as busy moms, we all need strong arms. We got kids to pick up, we got laundry baskets, we got floors to sweep, we got floors to mop, strollers to push, you name it. So staying strong in your arms is vitally important. Um, so you can do 15 reps one to three times through. Whatever you have time for, guys, one rep, one round is better than none, okay? I have my helpers here, so let's hope we get that done. You'll need um, a light pair of dumbbells, three to five pounds. Um, if you can do eight, do eight, but if you're like in your third trimester of pregnancy, such as myself, don't go too heavy. Um, and what was I gonna say? Oh, if you don't have weights, grab some soup cans. Grab your kids, whatever, okay? Or do them without weights, whatever you need. So the first one we're doing um, is called, I like to call it serve the platter. <laughs> so you're just gonna stand there. Remember to utilize your core in all of these moves. If you don't know how to do that, I have a free core course that I made for you, Core Basics. Did you do the very basics, how to engage your core? I will drop that link below. It's extremely necessary. You probably don't know that it's necessary, but it is. So if you know nothing what I'm talking about, go grab that today, okay? So you can kind of stand in a wide stance. Are you guys helping me? Grab something to hold. All right, so here we go. This is what I call serve the platter. <laughs> so you're gonna inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Want one what? Exhale. Go get the bands in mommy's box. I think I'm on six, but I don't know. So I'll try to count for you. And you guys, this burns. I did this just the other day, so I'm actually sore from it. And then you can stand in the, the squat a little bit and make sure your, your glutes are engaged. Eight. Yep, you can have one for mine, Pello. Two more. Fourteen. Okay, here, Pello, you can use mine, okay? Be careful, they're heavy. Vito, why don't you use these? Mommy will use those. Okay, the next that we're going to do is our um, triceps. Vito, you just dropped that right on my foot. Make sure you use weight safety if your kids are around. No, just one. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do is triceps. So, ready, follow mommy. So you're just gonna stand here. You're gonna hinge up the hips. Go get the bands then. You guys aren't helping. You're supposed to help mama. Okay, you're gonna pick them up. And you're just going to go back. And you really want to isolate this part of your muscle. Okay? So you're going to inhale. And then exhale. And you can see my core move in this. These are a little heavy for me right now. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Vito, can you give him a little one to use, please? Okay, you don't want to like be pushing your butt out too much. You really want to have a straight back and just hinge from those hips, okay? I have no idea what number I'm on, but you just, you get the idea. You want to do 15 of those. We'll do four more for good measure. Two. And four. Okay, next is tricep what do i have upright row okay so that really hurt my toe an upright row you can grab two weights or if you have one heavier weight or a kettlebell so what you're going to do is stand into a wide squat okay palo you got that yeah. a wide squat stance and you're literally just going to go one so inhale when you're when you're pulling up is when you want to exhale Again, 
the core basics course I made for you gives you a little in depth of how and why you need to engage your core on all these moves, especially during pregnancy because it's going to allow you to activate the correct muscles. It's going to keep your core strong and toned so that you can push that baby out and it's gonna allow you to have a faster recovery time during your postpartum period. You're gonna be able to heal those muscles because muscle is like a memory, right, Paolo? The more you start building now, the easier it will be to start making those mind muscle connections after baby. Okay, I lost count. I'm horrible at counting. Okay, and the last one we're going to do is a back slide. So, this works all your, your back muscles, which are really important too for pushing the stroller and picking up your kids. Okay, so again, we're going to stand to the side, and you're going to hinge at the hips. Ready? And you're just going to pretend you're flying. <laughs> Think of it like that. You're going to squeeze your, right here, your shoulder blades. Paolo's got his, his breathing down. Ready, Paolo? You two, me and Walmart are the one. You two. If you're breathing properly, you're going to feel this here in your back, your shoulder blades. You want to pinch. Do two pile. Do two Tommy, not you and me. Okay, I just don't want to hit you. Can you step back a little? Okay. I'm getting a workout in here. Here's ten. We got five more. One. Count with mommy. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay, so there you have it. Um, like I said, I will put that that core basics course for you because if you don't have if you don't know how to work your core, then you don't know how to functionally use your body, okay? It's going to make a big difference for you. Go work out those arms. When you work it out, drop a comment below, and I'll see you all later. Um, I have too many streams going on.